A few months ago, we made a video showcasing Arion Knighton's 200 meter dominance throughout the history of the junior division running. In this video, we showcased the ridiculous fact that Knighton owns all of the top 10 fastest times ever run for a junior athlete over the half lap race, with his insane personal record of 19.49 seconds still standing at the very top of this list. This chart is unreal. Beyond Knighton, only Usain Bolt, Blessing Afrifa, Letsili Tobogo, and Isama Singa have together broken the 20 second barrier for the junior athletes division. But only Knighton has ever managed to run under 19.90, and he has done that on various occasions. It has been a wild ride for the previous few seasons seeing this young man's assault at the record books, but honestly, Arian Knighton is just getting started. And we have even more proof from 2023, because at the moment, Knighton doesn't just own all of the top 10 times for a junior runner in the 200, he holds 13 out of the top 14 times ever run, including all of the top 11 fastest times ever achieved. Now, this number is almost guaranteed to go even higher this season as we still have the World Championships this month, as well as various Diamond League events before the seasons close. But just how fast can Knighton run before his junior eligibility runs out by the end of 2023? And what times should we expect by the end of his career for Arion Knighton? In a recent interview with the Olympics channel, Knighton made the bold and incredibly deep statement that he eventually wants to break the 19 second barrier for the 200. This time would of course destroy the current world record of Usain Bolt, which currently stands at 19.19 seconds from 2009. But is this a realistic prediction? Well, given his age and non-stop ascent into history, many people actually think that the finishing time of 18.99 in all of its impossible glory just might happen over the next five seasons. And honestly, we are in a revolutionary stage with many incredibly talented athletes adding to the drama of the 200 meters. At the moment, we have Noah Lyles undoubtedly leading the charge with his undefeated stretch since 2021. We have Letsile Tobogo from Botswana officially entering the picture as a gold medal threat. And we have seemingly endless depth from Kenny Benarek, Zarnell Hughes, Udodi Anwuzarike, and Courtney Lindsay. And let's also not forget about the incredibly talented NCAA division, which had many athletes running well under 20 seconds this season. However, not to be forgotten in all of this incredible depth is Arion Knighton, who is without question already proving himself as one of the most consistent 200 meter runners of all time. In an event where breaking 20 seconds is a very big deal, Knighton manages this feat like it is nothing. In 2023 alone, Knighton's average time is already 19.96 seconds. And this even includes the qualifying rounds that he ran in this year's US Nationals, where running all out is certainly not a requirement to make it to the next race, especially if you're Arion Knighton. If we take away these much slower qualifying races, Knighton's 2023 average thus far comes out to a blistering time of 19.89 seconds, a time that would be competitive against pretty much any competition throughout history, and yet this is his season's average to date. At 19 years of age, this teenager is in his very last stage of his junior competitions, which seems kind of crazy considering he is already a seasoned veteran over the last few seasons. But we've really only scratched the surface of this young man's potential. And there's something very interesting that caught my attention earlier this season from Arion Knighton, and this just might signify greatness in this year's World Championships. Throughout this entire season, Knighton has been stone cold, laser focused throughout every single event, even upon winning the United States Nationals, there was no over-the-top braggadocious celebration from this incredible win, which would certainly be merited considering that he took down athletes such as Christian Coleman, Kenny Benarek, and Fred Curley. However, instead of running around screaming and jumping around in glory, he just ran through the tape and moved on with his season. This kind of stone-cold stoicism kind of flew under the radar, but I actually think that this kind of reaction from Arion Knighton, who is still a teenager, showcases some high-level maturity in racing, and I think it just might lead to something great over the next few seasons. Now, there's nothing wrong with celebrating a great win. In fact, it can be a powerful factor to continuing your season in a positive direction. However, with Arion Knighton, this really strikes me as a point of endless focus, and it might lead to a new personal record in this year's World Championships. Now, if you'll remember, last season, after finishing second to Noah Lyles in the US Championships, he was being interviewed and he gave a very powerful statement that the job's not finished. And honestly, I think it's showing in 2023. In contrast to last season, 2023 is unfolding in a very different manner. Last year, we saw Knighton run his fastest time of the year during his season opener, 
and this 19.49 was certainly an incredible time. But even upon hitting the World Championships, we saw this kind of off-balance season break through, as his semifinals race was actually slightly faster than his finals performance. This racing challenge to perfectly peak at the right time is certainly not easy, and it takes even more focus to get through multiple rounds of running and then throw down your best time of the season. But Knighton appears to be absolutely ruthless this season, and upon reaching the World Championships, get your popcorn everyone, because he could unleash something special. In another interview with Knighton, he mentioned that he didn't start serious weight training until the middle stages of June this season, which is a pretty amazing fact, considering that he had already run a 19.77 in Oslo, Norway. And for this race, he didn't just run his fastest time of the season up to that point. He actually took down the meeting record of a pretty familiar athlete. Some of you guys might know him. It was Usain Bolt, who ran a time of 19.79 seconds back in 2013 to take the victory. Now, for this event, Knighton ran his opening 100 in 10.27 seconds and ran his final 100 meters in 9.50 seconds. This is an absolutely world-class performance from Arion Knighton, who consistently closes his final 100 in around 9.50. However, the truth of the matter is that if Knighton does want to challenge the likes of Letsili Tobogo and Noah Lyles in this year's World Championships, he will very likely need to throw down a sub 9.30 for the final 100. This new time requirement became evident at this year's London Diamond League meeting, when Noah Lyles and Tobogo both went off with the two fastest times of the year at 19.47 and 19.50, and they both ran their final 100 meters under 9.3. But here's the thing, when Knighton gets a good start and has a solid close, he is absolutely competitive with anyone. In last year's United States Championships, Knighton ran an opening 100 in 10.31, and he actually ran his second 100 meters in 9.38 seconds. Now, to this date, this was still his all-time best performance over the final 100 meters, but he did have to compete with Noah Lyles on the day, so he wasn't quite able to take the victory, as Lyles threw down a crazy final 100 of 9.23 seconds. Knighton honestly has all the tools to compete with the best in the world in the 200 meters, and given his solid season thus far, his relentless focus and his unstoppable dominance in running under 20 seconds for the 200, keep your eyes on this 19-year-old athlete at the World Championships, because we are certainly in for something special if he gets his race correct. And now I want to hear from all of you. What do you take away from Arion Knighton's season in 2023 thus far, and how do you think he'll run in this year's World Championships? Do you think he'll make the podium once again? Do you think he has the ability to get to the top? And what time do you think he'll run upon reaching the finals in Budapest, Hungary? Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.